So I got an MPC live recently and uh, it's really nice. I like it a lot, but the, the splice sync doesn't seem to do particularly well. So sometimes it will sync the files and other times it won't. Oh, it syncs them, but it won't play. Uh, now splice syncs as a flack whereas Windows seems to sync as WAV and the WAVs work just fine, transferred across manually, but who wants to do stuff manually? So what I'm doing here is I'm just splitting my library, which is about 13,000 samples, uh, into three separate folders to make it a bit easier to convert them. So, uh, so here I am just splitting everything into three and then with each of these, I'm going to go into one of the folders and search for FLAC. That's going to show me all of the FLAC files in that folder, um, though each of them is spread out across several different folders. So once I've got all of these FLAC files, I'm going to drag and drop them into the VLC window. Uh, and what this will do is this will get all of these tracks ready to be converted by VLC from FLAC to FLAC. Um, so here we go, the first one is in, we'll get the second folder copied in now, search for FLAC, wait for it to populate with the results, select all, control A, and then drag and drop. And then the third one, the reason I've split this into three is in the past when I've done this with all in one go, it just falls over. And no one likes technology that falls over. So I break it into bits to make it easier to do. And then the third folder, search for flak, select all when the list is populated control A drag and drop and those ones are now in there ready to be converted as well And then once these are all in there, we can start the conversion. Now what we're doing here is we're converting from flak to flak. Just to see if the MPC will recognize the converted flak files. So just waiting for those last files to be added into the VLC list. There we go, in the list. Now we go here, go down to convert. And we want to choose FLAC and go into settings, video we don't need, audio we want to convert and we don't want to keep the same. And we want to choose MOV. There we go, tick this box for add converted and hit start. And now these are going to start to convert. <coughs> all of these files from FLAC to FLAC. This can take a while, so um, so we can come back to this in a little bit. Now, this is it after conversion. So I've just done a search here for not converted. So this is going to bring back all of the files that don't contain converted and I'm doing another search here for flak converted this is going to look for all of the files with that string converted in the file name and really what we're doing here is just making sure that we have the same amount with flak uh, sorry with converted as we have without converted because we want to make sure that we've got all of our samples and converted them so this is just going to go through and come up with a count of how many we've got and it all looks to be about the same. I 
now what I'm doing is I've done a search here for the ones that don't include converted and we're going to delete those. So that will leave us with just our converted files with a string on the end of the file name that says converted. Now initially here I was thinking that just loading up the MPC with just the converted ones would be all we needed to do. Uh, but it turns out we get notification from Splice that because the files are named differently we have to download all of the files again. Um, so I said no, obviously, for doing that because we don't want to download the ones that we know don't work when we've got the ones on there that we know do work. So what this is doing here is just deleting all of the junk downloads from Splice that didn't work. So here the download is, the deleting is starting. So that's deleting away, this will take a few minutes. And again, I'm deleting over USB from the SSD drive in the MPC here. So if you were to do this with the drive attached to a computer, it'd probably be a bit quicker. But I'm a bit too lazy for all that. So here we go, it's deleting, it's deleting is deleting. Still deleting. 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 And deleting. Deleting my will to continue. Delete. Delete. Okay. So now that we've deleted that, what we're going to do is we're going to grab all of our folders from these three files. These have just got the converted ones in. So we're going to grab all of these folders from our three subfolders and drag them back into the by pack folder. So number one is in there, number two is in there, number three is in there. I'm just going to check that I have cleared everything from these. Yep, empty, 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 delete those guys. Now what we need to do is to remove the converted. Now removing the converted from here uh, oh, here's a video that's just testing. So this is the converted files playing. Okay, so here I'm using a, a bulk rename utility, free bit of software. Uh, now you want to replace, in the replace section, uh, replace converted with nothing. And in the filters section, you want to include subdirectory or subfolders. And that will search all of the folders in the folders for your files. <coughs> and once you've done that, <coughs> <clears throat> and then you're going to want to select all of the files in that top window. Control A to select all. And then hit the preview button. That will show you the before and after. Hit rename. And you just want to hit OK. I got stuck in a, a little user error loop here, going between preview and rename and preview again, just to be sure. And then OK. Now it's going to rename all of those files. So there's going to be our files all renamed. So these are the converted files renamed to now not have converted in the file name and now switching back over to the MPC our samples all play
and then just to be sure let's go into settings down to splice and let's check for updates my big fat finger and zoom in a little bit yay we have all Splice samples, playable, workable, usable, and no more reminders from Splice. Cheers.